we go to the AFC South. Titans got a win over the Indianapolis Colts last week. They will now go on the road to play the Houston Texans. They are the road favorite laying two and a half. The total is 40 and a half. Scott Kellen, I'm right back to you. I know we don't have an official play uh, on this game, but give me a thought on Texans hosting Titans real quick. Yeah, nothing for me on this, TJ. Numbers kind of line up where it's at, but I will say this. Houston, fifth best in the league in generating big pass plays. Tennessee, 26 in the league in giving up big pass plays. So maybe Houston gets some stuff uh, you know, because of that. Tennessee's kind of the middle of the road in generating big pass plays, but Houston last in the league in giving up big pass plays. So possibly Tennessee can do something here. we gotta, we got to see if Tannehill plays. If he doesn't play, all bets are off. Even if he does play, how effective is he going to be? And they're probably going to want to run the ball with Derrick Henry. These two teams have played six straight games here in Houston over the total with a minimum of 47 points. It's a, it's a lower ski scoring league right now. Total's 40. That's still a pretty low total. You know, the average points right now are about 42, 42 and a half, 43, whatever it is. Uh, so, but these teams have combined and scored a lot of points, including 53 here last year in the last day of the season. Texans 5-1 and one against the spread the last six here against Houston. I don't think it's a great matchup for Houston. Might never slightly favor Houston in this game, but it's just really tough for me to take Houston um, – with the defense that they have. Although I do think Tennessee has vastly overachieved this year. I think there is some regression coming with them as well, uh, but no play for me in this game. Tannehill with an ankle injury, didn't practice Wednesday, limited in practice uh, for Thursday. Question mark there, Chris Farley, a thought from you if no official play. Yeah, no official play here, but you know, if you like the Titans, you like them because they do a few things really well. They get off to a lead usually in the first half. They almost always score early. Uh, you know, they have big sacks and big game moments. And obviously, Derrick Henry, right? They should be able to run the ball in the Houston Texans. Teams are averaging nearly 32 rush attempts against the Texans because they know they can't stop it. And it's true. The Texans are one of the worst rush defenses in the NFL. Um, Tennessee is a lot like the Giants in that sense. They're just really well coached, but nothing really is that explosive about their offense or, you know, really that talented. But I, I lean to the Texans here, and I think this could be an upset alert. If you look in the past at these matchups, they almost always play the Titans really well. A lot of overtime games, a lot of close games. And the thing about the Texans is they usually hang around for three quarters, and then if there's a team that's way better than them, you know, they pull away late, right? That's what we saw with the Raiders last week, although I could argue that the Texans probably should have covered that game too because Davis Mills was going down the field, threw a pick, and that one was over. Uh, but if the Texans can hang around for three quarters, I think they could win this game. Nothing about the Titans is anything that really stands out, you know, as, as you know, flexing on the Houston Texans in this spot. Davis Mills still has yet to have that game where, you know, he can have a much better, like over 300 yard passing game. And maybe this is it to Scott's point because Tennessee allows those big plays. Um, sneaky, sneaky spot here for the Texans. And I think they make a really good teaser lay. Scott, mentioned earlier in the show, maybe teasing up the Broncos. Uh, this would probably be the best pairing for that, in my opinion. Yeah, it's, All right. it's, uh, just just one uh, point, TJ. I was, thanks for saying that, Chris. I was just going to add that, and I was just looking here. Uh, Jeffrey Simmons, very good defensive tackle for him, did not practice yesterday. So that bears watching because that, that will help uh, our case on Houston or a teaser as well if he doesn't go. Very good player for them as well. All right, again, no official play from the guys here. Tennessee has basically run rough shot over this division. Will it continue in Houston coming for Sunday? We will find out uh, in that matchup. One interesting note, Houston will host the first two games of the World Series on Friday night and Saturday night. The Texans will play a home game with Tennessee. The World Series will then move to Philadelphia uh, to play on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the Texans will host the Eagles on Thursday. So you're going to get your fill of Philly against Houston is what I'm telling you, especially <laughs> next week uh, for what it's worth. It's just a schedule quirk and wow, coincidence on how it worked out that the Eagles are in Houston on Thursday night on the short week after the Phillies are playing the Astros all week in the World Series. Let's see what happens on that. No official play, though, from the guys on Tennessee Titans and Houston Texans.